the sewer branch. The smallest monument with radiation. But what kind of loot is there, and is it worth it? Welcome to the Rust Monument Guide, where today I'll be telling you all the essentials you need to know about the sewer branch. You need 20 radiation protection to be completely protected in this area, but most of it is accessible with 5. The loot in this monument, like in many others, varies a lot, so these numbers might be slightly different when you visit the sewer branch. This monument contains regular crates, food crates, medical crates, and military crates. The sewer branch houses 8 regular crates, with each crate containing 5 scrap and random items. They also have a small chest of containing low tier weapons, like water pipes, double round shotguns, or revolvers. It also houses two medical crates, which contain some kind of healing item, like bandages, medical syringes or med kits, and one food crate, which contains food. Finally, this monument contains two military crates, which include eight scrap and random items. They also have a small chance of containing two two weapons, like pump action shotguns, semi-automatic rifles, or flamethrowers. Well, how do you get up there, you might ask? Well, it's simple. First, locate this ladder and climb up onto it. Then, jump onto these metal pipes. Then jump onto there and there. Now watch out for that piece of metal sticking out and do the jump. Jump onto the pipe, jump onto that, and then this metal thing and you're on the top. Now locate this ladder and boom, congratulations, you've got your loot. The sewer branch is not too bad in terms of services. It houses an oil refinery and a recycler. Just like the airfield, this monument also has a network of tunnels underneath it where it's worth going down. It contains four crates. One of them is always medical or food, and the rest of them are regular crates. In terms of camping, there are two good camping spots. Well, one is basically just an area, basically anywhere around the central point on those rocks. You can camp, and if there's anybody up on the loot tower, you can easily kill them. Now, the second camping spot is actually a spot. It's just a metal pipe going across the sewer branch, where you can also kill the people on top of the loot, and people trying to get up. Now for the most important question, is it worth it? Because this monument is not too populated, there's only a low chance of PvP encounters, so for people who would like easy loot of 100 plus scrap, it is. Thank you for watching this episode of Rust Monument Guide. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next video about the train yard. And as always, thanks for watching.